Right, I'm delighted to be here with Sandbird in beautiful Mexico, ahead of the Mexico City Eve Pre. And you've been getting right stuck in with the culture, doing the Mexican wrestling. Talk me through it, right? You've been with the Lucha Libre, you've been doing the 619s. How did you and Jake get on? <laughs> I'm not going to be a wrestler, let's put it that way. It was incredible. The skill set that they've got is phenomenal. And you know what? With their altitude uh, in Mexico City, doing all that jumping and spinning, turning, flying through the air, um, and wrestling each other was super hard. Like, you were, you were tired. I can imagine. It seems like an incredibly difficult sport. Obviously, you've gone into their run. Would you ever bring them over and stick them in a Formula E car, see how they get on? Uh, I have this discussion about all sports. Like, when, when I play golf and then you see a professional golfer, you think, how do they do that? That's incredible. I'll never get to that level. But they would then come into our world and they wouldn't get within 10, 15 seconds of, of what we do. So... You know, we are skilled at what we do, and the other sportsmen are super skilled at what they do. Most definitely. And in wrestling, they always have these wacky matches, don't they? With like tables, chairs, etc. If we could come up with some sort of cross on a Formula E wrestling matchup, if you and Jake were to take on two of the Lucha Libres, do you think you'd come out on top? No, no way. <laughs> no way. It's in the size of them. No way. No, absolutely not. And obviously, fantastic stuff getting involved with the wrestling, but what happens on the track is the important bit. Obviously, new team, new season. How are you feeling going into this one? Yeah, really good. I'm um, feeling very positive about being part of the Neon McLaren family. Um, look, we, we're going into the season encouraged by what we've done over the winter months. Now we put it into practice and hopefully we both score some decent points this weekend. And you and Jake, obviously a new partnership. How is the relationship developing? Yeah, great. He's a really good driver, really, really top and a lovely guy as well. So it's a, it's a great match. He's a big Aston Villa fan. Obviously, you're a big Manchester United fan. There must be some rivalry there at the moment. What's going wrong for Manchester United this season? Well, that's, that's the only thing that, that's wrong with Jake, is, <laughs> is his supporting of Aston Villa. But now Man United this year, I don't understand how they're trying to play, what, what way they're trying to play. I mean, on paper, they look like great players, but for some reason, we don't play well together with a system that works. So it's, it's challenging to be a Man U fan right now. I can imagine. And Formula E, a fantastic event, no matter where it goes. But in Mexico, a little bit extra special. We know how passionate these fans are. What's it like to be immersed with them? Awesome. You know, when, when so many people are lining the back of the garage, when you look at the Forest Isle, there's 50,000 people there screaming and chanting, looking for overtakes. It's awesome. Really cool. And outside of this spot, I know you're big into charity work as well. I know you do a lot with cheetah conservation. Can you tell me a little bit about that and why cheetahs mean so much to you? Well, I love animals. I absolutely adore animals. I got introduced to it by one of the, my, my managers, a lady called Katie Clements, um, who invited me down to the Big Cat Sanctuary a few years ago. And I was absolutely taken by these animals. I was given the opportunity to become an ambassador. Why not? I mean, you know, they are endangered. And if I can help in any way, shape or form, I'd be delighted to help. Sam, it's been great speaking to you. Obviously, we're all looking forward to this race. So before I let you go, have you got any sort of predictions for this race in particular? And what do we have in store for you for the rest of the season? Predictions for the race. I think both Neon McLaren cars are going to finish strongly in the points. And predictions for me going forward, hopefully some more podiums. And you never know if we can sneak a win or two this, this year. That'd be amazing.